Live from Boston, Massachusetts, it's theCUBE, covering AWS reinforce 2019. Brought to you by Amazon Web Services and its ecosystem partners. Hey, welcome back everyone's CUBE live coverage here in Boston, Massachusetts for AWS Amazon Web Services reinforce. This is inaugural, confer inaugural conference for um, security. This is the first event Amazon's dedicating to security. I'm John Furrier, Dave Vellante. Dave reinvents the big show. Reinforce will be the big show for security. 12,000 people and we have Vittorio Varingo, who's the VP of Marketing Cloud Business Unit at McAfee, formerly of Sky High Networks. Great to see you again on theCUBE. CUBE, Cube alumni. I'm uh, happy to be here. You guys are an institution, so <laughs> I'm uh, delighted to be here with you guys. Uh, super excited, been a big fan of your work, been following your work at VMware, Sky High Networks, now McAfee, you've seen the big company go to startup. Real change is going on in cloud. You know, McAfee, certainly the expertise in antivirus and security, been there, check. Now cloud comes into the equation with Sky High Networks. Give us the update, What's the, what is it all about? Sky High comes into McAfee, you got a cloud business unit, they leave you alone, you get to do your own thing, but take advantage of the McAfee goodness. Give us the, what's going on, tell us. Well, you know, when you make an acquisition, usually you do it for two reasons. Why one is, a uh, seat at the table in a new market, uh, acquiring the skills uh, of the people, those are the two, two main reasons. So, Sky, uh, McAfee, when they acquired Sky High in January 2018, uh, they kept uh, the Sky High as a separate business unit to keep the momentum. And if you think about the, the investment thesis there is that today work gets done on endpoints that are attached to the cloud increasingly. The network now is, used to be the control point for everything security, but now we run applications in, on infrastructure we don't own that traverses network we don't operate. And so the, our strategy is to secure data with work Get, gets done, which is in, on the device, which that's the McAfee uh, you know, heritage, and then in the cloud, that's where the McAfee, uh, uh, the, with the Sky High acquisition, uh, what we bring it to and the And they're not mutually exclusive, they both work together right. because one's an endpoint, one's kind of a in transit, data in cloud, all that stuff happening. They're two different things, but they work together. Yeah, it's a, to me, uh, devices, mobile devices and laptops are the, uh, the 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 land endpoints to the cloud, right? And so uh, I think we are. And then on top of it, IT wants complete visibility. And so McAfee has this great uh, footprint with the device, the cloud, and then EPO, which is our management management layer on top of it that gives you visibility across everything. So you guys are making Mad McAfee with the cloud business unit, which is sky high, and McAfee, a big investment at this show. You guys look at reinforce as an opportunity. Why are you making such a big investment in Reinforce, this show, this community, what's the big move? Well, if you look at the, what the enterprise data is increasingly, it's uh, in the cloud. So we recently um, ran a uh, report of the live system. So we have around 1,000 customers using our cloud solutions. So we know exactly what data is. And around 35% is in uh, SaaS, uh, Office 365, Boss, Dropbox. 25% uh, is in structured application like Salesforce, uh, ServiceNow. And 24% is in IIS and PaaS. And that's the area that is growing the most. And so in the past, if you look at the evolution of cloud security, there have been a lot of different point solutions to solve these different problems. We're trying to bring it all together so we have a single point for visibility and control of your data in the cloud. So IIS and PaaS is where data is growing the, fa the fastest and the show like this is okay. the perfect opportunity for us. I got to put the hard question on to you right now because this is what everyone's been asking us. CISOs and CIOs, the people who run or are running or managing or trying to figure out uh, the security equation. We love our vendors giving us alerts. We don't need more alerts. We don't need more, well we need more visibility. We need more alerts. We need our suppliers to help us fix the problems. Yeah. That's the big focus of this show. We're hearing a lot of that. And a lot of help my people be better. So not just tell me what the problem is, fix it. Yeah. What's your view on that? Uh, absolutely, so w w once you get visibility and you set your policies, our system enforces those policies in real time, and so it, it doesn't require human intervention for the most part. Plus there is another aspect. If you look at the number of incidents that happens in the cloud, they're one order of magnitude 
uh, higher than on-prem. So what we do, we bring the users into the picture as a solution. So let me give you an example. So uh, say that you, look, you use the cloud to collaborate, right? And that makes us productive. We found that 85%, 87% of, of uh, people that go to the cloud find business acceleration um, uh, in, in, in their business. And so, why? Because people can collaborate freely. But sometimes collaborating, they share a document that contains confidential information. So when we detect that, instead of, we let IT know, but instead of asking IT to fix it, we inform the user. And we say, hey, uh, Mr. User, did you know that you just shared a document that contains credit card information, healthcare information, uh, and we show them what it is, so they can uh, fix it. In most cases, people don't do it maliciously, like right? they're just trying to yeah. get their job done. And so we make the user be part of the solution instead of just creating the problem. Why are incidents ra incident rates so much higher in the cloud, Vittorio? Because just the, the number of people, by definition, the moment you start to put your data in the cloud to collaborate, you collaborate with many more people, right? And so that's why the number of incidents is so much higher, because the, the, your stuff is all out there, and the number of people that have access to your data is much larger. So when you think of risk, you think of you know, the probability of an event, and then the impact of that event. So we just heard that the probability goes up when you're collaborating in yeah. the cloud. Do you have any data on the impact in terms of uh, specific to the cloud? Is the cloud doing a, a better job than say on-prem? Is it more higher impact? Is it not, there's not as enough, enough high value data in the cloud yet? More data's on-prem? Do you have any sort of sense as to uh, First of all, based dimension? on our actual use of the, of the cloud, we know that confidential data is in the cloud. Yep. And we also know that over time, 50% of uh, confidential data, or confidential documents in the cloud, gets shared in, in, in the process. Right? Here's the, the, the good news is that we believe that with the proper tools like Envision Cloud and the proper Casby platform in place, yep. the cloud can be more secure than on-prem, and this is why. First, these cloud providers, AWS and others, they put more resources in security than any on-prem company ever could, right? But then you still have the shared responsibility model. There's a part of, of the, uh, the security puzzle that the end user is in charge of. And if you put in place a Casby platform, we love for people to use ours, but any Casby platform, I think eventually the cloud will become more secure than on-prem ever was. Yeah, so that's shared responsibility. You're talking about endpoints, data, Apps. User access, right? Yep. And, and then, well, you start from SaaS, the, your responsibility is really device um, security and end user access. So if an end user logs in with their credential and starts stealing your data, AWS or Microsoft, they're not going to be responsible. So you have to take care of that. When you're doing, going to pass, your responsibility goes deeper because now you're running your own applications there. So you have to make sure that, that the applications, the infrastructure that the application runs on is properly configured, yeah. and the data going in and out of the application and the container are secure. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to IIS, it, your responsibility goes even deeper. But these are problems now that can be solved, that are well understood, and can be solved by leveraging the underlying platform and then building uh, your own infrastructure, your security solutions on top of it. Victoria, talk about the most important story that, that's, that should be told in technology, security industry today, or that media should tell or not being told. What is the most important story for, for customers to, to know about and or the media should be covering more of? That's, uh, you're putting me on the spot. Well, I think, I, the thing that I'm most excited right now uh, in, in IT is DevOps, right? Think about every technology transition for the last 25 years was driven by one set of people, developers. And so over, over the years, developers had all these roadblocks. Oh, I need a server. Oh, now I need the security clearance. Now I need compliance clearance. And so we always got in the way of them until they figured out a new, a new platform, a new way to, to be more agile. And I think right now, uh, in the cloud, is, with DevOps, is the ultimate of yeah. um, uh, e e expression of that. So I think it's very exciting, and I think as security vendors, instead of, this is my pet peeve with security, is you have to scare people into buying your stuff. Yeah. I hate that, right? You know, if you don't buy this, you're going to get fired, you're going to get breached. 
all true, but... <laughs> <laughs> Not a good sales tactic. <laughs> but the, re the reason why people go to the cloud is business agility. The ability to do unleash the developers to build new differentiating applications. And so to me, a better way to selling security and build a security solution is to cater to that need and build security that, that is transparent to the users and now transparent to the developers. And also, to your, what you're really saying there is you want to increase the speed of security for that's slow, that is lagging behind the uh, agility of DevOps. Yeah, in fact. Make it faster yeah, so it's in line with the developer. In, in fact, Today we just announced uh, this shift left, right? So uh, instead of like making it easier to deploy an application and then put security on top of it, how about we look at during the development process and trying to identify flaws that may end up into a non-secure runtime environment. And so that goes along the lines of like, let's forget about security that doesn't yeah. create friction, let's put, build security in the code itself. That shift left by that, you mean security as code, as some yeah, people exactly. would talk about. You now, last time we talked to you in theCUBE, you were an engineer. Yeah. Uh, so, now you're in marketing. What happened? Well, <laughs> first of all, I'm still an engineer. Oh uh, yeah, okay. I can still write code, okay. maybe not production code. Yeah, no, okay. So what happened was, you know, I'd, I never planned my career. I always look for smart people, and where smart people kind of uh, aggregate, there's some cool stuff to do. And when I was at, uh, when I left VMware, I joined uh, Mobile Iron. And the only spot that they held, that was open was uh, a CMO. And so, uh, once I got the job, I had to learn it. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. But so, it, I, I... Well, you're a builder. I mean, Amazon loves engineering mindset, then you've got a builder mindset. How are you going to build out your cloud division because you have some big tailwinds, big demand for security products to be sold in a new way, yep. and consumed with services, so good opportunities for you. What's your strategy, what are you going to do? Our strategy is to uh, keep growing this business. Right now, the, the cloud, as you would expect, is the fastest growing business at, at McAfee. Uh, and so, uh, from, from my perspective, within the cloud business unit, we, we're trying to inject uh, energy and the vision for cloud, and, uh, and that's, that's what I think McAfee needs from us. So, Obviously, you're a fan of agile, Scrum. I mean, you know, modern modern development techniques. Are you bringing that to marketing in any way? Yeah, absolutely. So when I uh, made the transition to uh, marketing, I realized that whenever you have an environment where you have to ship something, in engineering is shipping software, in marketing is shipping a new web page or a new campaign, a new uh, video or something, uh, and whereas there is a lot of unknown and market them moves fast. Uh, Scrum and Agile is the perfect solution for it. So basically what I do, I take the priority from the company, we make these plans like a year out, right? Uh, who knows what's going to happen in a year out, right? So you p take these goals and then break them down in two weeks interval and every two weeks, is there, here are the priorities, the map to those, and then every two weeks you look, have you moved the needle? And I just talked to some people and, I, and uh, AWS, you know what they told me? Maybe it's confidential information, hopefully not. Ahead, they told it. me, two weeks, it's too long, we yeah. do it weekly. <laughs> so sometimes, yeah. when somebody new comes to my team and they see this mechanism, because we're always on the treadmill, they go, this, this guy is insane, and they may have a point. But <laughs> then you look at the companies that are changing the world, yeah. and guess what, they're doing it weekly. It is, yeah. yeah, but it's like, it's like an athlete. Once you get on that cadence, you're in shape, and you get the team rolling, because success is a great motivator. Yeah. And you have that kind of success when you're agile and you can respond faster. Yeah, because look, this, our counterpart is sales, right? And if you engage with sales, you talk to sales, everything is an emergency that was needed yesterday. And that's okay, they're bringing the money, so we like them. But with agile, with this two week sprint, what allows me and my team to do is to say, hey, what you're asking for, is it more important than these things that we're shipping in average, a week from now, and the answer is typically no, or can you wait two weeks? And, you have that, and then I can take the whole team and focus Flexing. them on whatever is the, the latest resource. emergence. Yeah, it's, it's a, and it's do a, your best work. You bring in the best of cloud ethos yep. into marketing. And then again, look, if we be, do believe that engineers make the world go round, I truly believe that. In Silicon Valley, engineers change the world and make the world go round. Let's take some of those best practices and apply them to other uh, parts of the organization. Why not? Terry, great to chat with you. Love your vision. 
Thanks for coming on theCUBE and sharing oh yeah, thank profound you for the opportunity. insights. Great insights here. At, we're driving all the data here inside theCUBE for Reinforce. Amazon Web Services first security conference. It's inaugural, we're excited to be here. Two days of live coverage. Stay with us for more after this short break. <laughs>